Um, like I said before, they're playing tonight with the Slackers and the Gadgets. Um, let's start off. Like, tell people your names and what you guys play. I'm Destin, keyboards. Destin, keyboards, and vocals. <laughs> I'm Alex, vocals. Cool. So uh, let's start off. Uh, how long have you guys been around? Uh, this will be our eighth year. Eighth year? Yeah, been around for a while. We started, we weren't, we weren't able to drink legally, and now we can. Yeah. It's been that long, I don't know. When we started the whole thing. Um, originally, it's the idea between uh, Greg, our singer, and Alex, and uh, I guess myself. Cool. And who came up with the name Hepcat? Bad decision, kind of based on Alex's cat at the time. <laughs> okay. Was that its name or something? Yeah, the cat's name was Hep. Yeah. Hep. <laughs> cool. And uh, you were in a movie. Yeah, yeah. Swingers. This place is dead anyway, y'all. Oh. <laughs> I left my hat in LA. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> so, aside Swingers, what other movies have you done? Um, I did one called VCU, another one called Lush Life. Um, I might have some more coming out. Some TV shows, but it's really flat. It's TV 101. Cool. Heights. Heights. Shot in lovely Vancouver, British Columbia. Yeah. What would you rather be doing, singing or acting? I'd rather do both. Do both, okay. Yeah. I guess yeah. it's there. Make there. it happen, yeah. Cool. And um, aside from your new album, what other albums do you have? What, what are some other albums you guys have out? You mean besides from right, right on time? Yeah, aside from that uh, album. Yeah, we have our previous album, Scientific, that was out on BYO Records, and our first album, uh, Out of Nowhere. Cool. And uh, you guys just played the Warped Tour this summer. Yeah. What did you guys think about that? Great experience. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. You guys. I'm sorry. Got to play in front of you know larger audience, you know more people, you know different kinds of uh, kids and stuff. It was cool. Cool. And you didn't find like you guys got along well with bands like Sick of It All. Like, yeah. H2O. Yeah. Yeah. The whole tour was like it was like love all around. You know we'd have barbecues every night after <laughs> yeah. the show was over. Pennywise would have barbecues every night. It was cool. Yeah. Cool. And um, what do you guys like? You guys want to keep continuing as you're going, just as a uh, playing like smaller clubs? Would you hope for one day be able to maybe be like the headlining band on the Warped Tour type thing? Well, you know what? We can play both. You know, I mean, per, uh, me personally, I like playing like small, smaller, intimate, you know, clubs. But we can play whatever. I mean, as long as the music gets harder. Yeah, as long as the music gets harder. Oh, cool. And you guys seem to have that very old school, like roots, very influenced with you guys. And what makes you guys like that so much, as opposed to like the newer, faster type ska? Because we, we've always liked that, you know, since we started. You know, those that kind of music was what people really, you know, never um, heard. You know, except for you know a handful of people, and we wanted to like bring that to the masses. Plus, for me personally, it's easier to prove with your girl. That way. Yeah. <laughs> He's dancing, yeah. You know, that's cool. Dancing by yourself. I like the movement with my lady. Get nice and into it. <laughs> it's mellow though. It's all about, yeah, it's all about, you know, at the time, when we first started out, there were bands playing like, I guess, you know, third generation type, you know, ska and stuff, but, you know, we said, hey, you know, we like we used to like the stuff they used to play between, like, you know, the, the, bands. the bands, you know, they used to play like old rock city and reggae, the clubs that we used to um, go to, you know, so, we're like, that'd be dope to play this kind of music, you know, cool. and, and we got into it more. So how old you guys are saying how uh, you guys weren't drinking eight of drinking when you started? How old were you when it started? Well, I was I was a drinking. Oh, uh, you were a drinker. Yeah. He's a year older than me. I was. We were like twenty. Oh, okay. I was doing consensus. Oh shit! Yeah, it's twenty one in the states, eh? Yeah. Uh, okay. You know, Lita? Yeah. <laughs> it's all ball. Now I'm twenty eight. Oh my god! I said it. No. <laughs> so, um, with how do you find time to do acting and? playing in the band, like, do you find it hard, or? Well, sometimes I can't find time. <laughs> okay. Sometimes it's one or the other. When we did the work tour, I had to turn down some job. And likewise, I've had to turn down tours because I was working on acting for okay. um, And basically, I mean, for me personally, right now, is going to be the time for me to try and find the balance. Okay. Before, you know, before the events and the tour, it was easier to handle. But now we're starting to tour a lot, so, you know, it, it will be a struggle, but I'm going to make it happen. Cool. And um, who are your, who are your, both of your major influences, like musically? Uh, for each person, it's different. Uh, me personally, for this, for this band and the kind of music we play, uh, Scott Lights, because uh, they're like the forefathers of all, all the Scott, you know. And we give respect to them by trying to like, you know, follow in their footsteps like they did in the '60s, you know. 
and also like bands like the Early Wailers and Paragons. Uh, as far as soul influence, impressions, everybody has different influences. I think Oakley and Skyway to the Blue Busters were definitely in there. Wailers, without a doubt. Whalers go from the Wailers to the Impressions. Which is a heavy, heavy, heavy tick influence. <laughs> yeah, mostly um, a lot of old Jamaican artists. Yeah. Um, heavy influences by Do you guys listen to it all, like, excuse me, you're on Hellcat. Do you guys listen to it all, like, Dropkick Murphys or Union 13, stuff like that? Oh, yeah. Some of us do. Some do too. Yeah, Efren, our sax player, he's really not cool. Huh. Cool. So, do you guys, like, do you mostly, do you ever see a time when you're going to just say, like, Try not to say like, well, fuck it, I'm gonna stop acting, playing the band full time, or like, you know, forget the band, I'm gonna act full time. Do you ever see something like that, or you just wanna hey, keep going? The options are always there. Yeah. yeah. For right now, this is perfect. True. Cool. You know, I'm happy with what I'm doing. If, and if there were to be another Shaft movie come out, can you see yourself? No. Is there? Can you see yourself being him? No. No? You couldn't see yourself being that? No. I'd be, I'd be like the little, you know, drug dealer dude. Hey, man, I got some news for you, brother. <laughs> Come on, the word is on the street. <laughs> hey, you do that pretty well, man. <laughs> hey, I watch a lot of Seventy Black Exploitation. <laughs> Check out the Education of Sonny Carson. Brilliant movie. Brilliant movie. <laughs> Wu Tang, Wu Tang Clan sampled a lot from that movie. Check it out. Uh, speaking with that, do you guys like? Do you guys also listen to stuff like rap? Yeah, and, yeah, we have yeah, we listen to everything. Yeah, exclusive my time to like basically listen to all of that. So how did the whole, like, because from being on BYO, which is run by the Stearns and stuff, um, how did you get picked up by Hellcat? Um, they kind of approached us, I guess, uh, got in contact with our manager, and kind of interested in signing, you know, some, some Sky Acts for their new, like, label, Hellcat. And uh, that's basically how it started. They contacted our manager, and we met with Brett. Um, that was it. Cool. And you guys feel any, like, what are your opinions on like the new ska punk mixtures like Voodoo Glow Skulls and like Suicide Machines, Lesson Jake? Do you guys like, do you listen to that also or do you just maybe not like that at all? No, I mean, we listen to like every, you know, every type of music, so oh. we don't, no, we're not going to listen to that. You know? It's all valid. Yeah, you know? see, I mean, when people ask that question of, oh, do you guys like the newer type of like mm -hmm. mixture between hardcore and ska and stuff like that, it's all fine because in a sense it's getting a lot of people to listen to like obscure music, you know, yeah. and 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 even more obscure than that kind of music is probably the music that we play, you know. It's, yeah. it's, it's like really, when I mean, you think about it, it's really punk rock because it's so like not punk rock as far as today's punk rock. It's punk yeah. rock as far as like it's like so raw and so like you know, that kind of, you know, and, and and it plays different kind of groove. So yeah, there's different forms of like uh, ska. I mean, we we try to stick. To, Towards the Jamaican roots of it all, you know. So I mean, that means that we basically our mission is to let people know that. Yeah, it's, basically. Yeah, you know, it's all kinds of music. I mean, just think about when we first realized when the specials were doing that. Judge was it Judge Roughneck? Yeah. To find out that was actually an old Prince Buster. Yeah. And they never heard of like, Prince Buster, and that means you want to go out and find more music and find more music. That's the beauty of it. If it wasn't for Scott personally, I don't think I'd love jazz music yeah, as exactly. much as I love jazz now because I realized the Scatalacks were listening to this. I said, well, who were their influences? And then I went, oh wow, that's Western Young. Okay. That's Coleman. So Hawk. it goes, it's like, it's like you'll have maybe like someone, some kid going, yeah, I listen to like No Doubts and blah, blah, blah. I was like, oh, you're listening to specials? And then you get into specials. Like, oh, yeah, you're listening to Just Dread? And you yeah. listen to Prince Buster and you keep going backwards and backwards, you know? So that's that's how it starts. That's that's how we, we operate. Cool. And I noticed the, the laminate passes. I don't know if you guys have, but the guy just did. Yeah. You got some Tark on the back. Yeah. So you guys are big Tark fans too? Yeah, I am. I am. Who's your favorite yeah. character? On South Park? It's uh, <laughs> a hard question to answer. Uh, because I like all the kids. Probably my favorite character out of all of them is Shit. Because <laughs> he like settles everything, you know. It's yeah. like any kind of problem, no matter how scientific yeah. it is, or how stupid it is, he'll just always solve it, and everybody just pretty much bow down to his wisdom. Cool. What's your favorite episode? Oh man, stop um, the gadgets with that too. Let's see. I just watched the Heidi Ho one. I need a Christmas one. Thank you, Christmas. I I have. You know what? I haven't seen all of them. I've seen yeah. most of them. Been on um, tour, man. Yeah, yeah. I'm missing all the new ones. He's probably, 
Good. Yeah, I'm too alright. <laughs> but uh, probably my favorite episode that I've seen uh, had to be the Halloween episode. <laughs> <laughs> totally. Where you the thriller take off? Yeah. That was a scary. The one with the space station at first. Yeah. Cool. Alright, so yeah, I guess that's about it. Right. So uh, I'd like to wish you guys like best of luck tonight and stuff Thanks. like that. Thanks. Cool. And also, if you guys can just do an ID uh, saying like you're Hepcat, you're watching mm -hmm. Punk Empire. Alright. <laughs> Alright, you're Hepcat and you're watching Punk Empire. That's right. And you are Hepcat. Alright, I'll do it again. Uh, <laughs> okay, you're Hepcat and we're Hepcat. That's right. And you're watching Punk Empire. Empire.